Let's design this very trendy 3D hand animation in Blender. This video is going to be two part video. In the first video, we will be modeling the hand and in the next video, we will add animation and then render it as an MP4 to use in your social media or web project. So without any further delay, let's begin. All right, so I'm in Blender 2023 and I'm gonna start a general project just like this. And this is how it would look when you start Blender for the first time and keep an eye over here on the left corner so that any shortcut keys that I press will be shown over here. Now I'm typing and you can see the shortcut keys. And we have our light over here and we have a camera over here and our basic cube to start with. You can see the cube on the top right here as well. So first of all, some of the shortcuts to navigate around 3D space, I'm gonna just show you in a second. So make sure to keep an eye on the left-hand side for the key presses. So let's first explore how we can see different kind of views. So we are working in a 3D space, so there will be an X axis, a Y axis, and a Z axis. So uh, you can see the object in any direction. A very important key is the tilde key to select the view. So I'm pressing this tilde key over here and it will show you some views. I'm going to go to the front view just like this and it will show me the front view of this cube. We will press the middle mouse button and move around to the 3D space. The middle mouse button is the scrolling button. Just press that and move your mouse to view the object in 3D space. By the way, if you are not using a mouse, you can do that by the trackpad of the laptop as well. And I'm using the scroll up and down to zoom in, zoom out, press shift and mouse wheel to move around. And if you don't have a mouse wheel, you can always use shift plus trackpad to move around the object. So let's just select this object and let's delete this one. So I'm just gonna select this and delete this cube over here and I'm gonna add a new mesh. Just press Shift A and go to Mesh and add a single vertex. Now, you probably won't have this option, so you just go into the Edit Mode and go to Preferences and look for Extra, search Extra, and just check these both options on, and then you, you can see this single vertex option. When you press Shift A, Mesh, single vertex and add a single vertex. You can see the vertex on the right hand side panel. Uh, so I'm just gonna press the tilde key. Oops, sorry, I pressed the Z key. Uh, let's press the tilde key right here and go to the front view. And I'm just gonna press, uh, but before that, let's go to the modifier actually and add a skin modifier first. And let's add another modifier of subdivision modifier, just like this. Uh, so I'm just going to zoom in and try to scale it. Uh, and usually S is for the scale, S key, but I'm going to press Control A to scale this one because it's a single vertex and I'm just going to scale it a bit like that. So it's again Control A or Command A on Mac. So we have our scaled vertex over here. I'm going to press E and Z to extrude it in the Z axis. So E is for extrude and Z is for the axis. So it's gonna extrude vertically exactly like this. Now you can see this red circle around this vertex. So it's it's the root. So we want to make this one as root. So select this vertex and click mark as root. Now select this vertex just like that. And E and Z again to extrude it a bit more just like this. So it's gonna add another vertex. You can see that, but uh, you can go to the edit mode. Uh, actually, we are already in the edit mode, but uh, you can switch it just like this and press Alt Z or Option Z on Mac to see the skeleton mode, the X-ray mode, and you can see the vertices that we have just added. Now, I'm gonna select this vertex over here and select Mark Loose because I'm gonna create a hand from this. So I'm just gonna press E and sorry, not Z, just press E and move it around in this direction to make the palm. Uh, so we have, we, we will have five digits for this hand, five fingers. So I'm just gonna go to the front view again and select from this vertex and press E again and go into this direction just like that. So I'm just trying to make a palm. 
So again, E and go to this direction, then E from this direction. So we have the four digits and for the final one, just E and this one. Now, by the way, you can move around any vertex after that. So just select this, press G and move it around that you can see the G key and move it around to wherever you want. I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit just like this and move this one around here. Now, if I rotate this using the middle mouse key, press that and move it around to see, it looks really weird. So let's go to the front view. So let's select all of these vertices and press Command A again, or Control A on Windows and scale it a bit down so it looks much smoother like this. Now let's extrude the fingers, press E and extrude this thumb over here from this and press this and E and move it around to over here. We have the hand and let's select this vertex, press E and go to this direction just like that. Then select this one and E to extrude it for this. By the way, E stands for extrude. So that's that's that makes sense, right? And we have our five fingers. Let's zoom out a little. The hand is quite big, so I'm just gonna scale it down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of these vertices. Uh, oops, sorry, I've, I've not selected the top one. So I'm just gonna select all of them again and press Command A to scale them a bit down so that it looks natural, just like this. Now let's select this vertex and this vertex and press Command A to make our pinky a little smaller as well. Let's scale it down just like that with the mouse move. And let's make our thumb a bit more thicker. Command A is the shortcut key for this. Now to make them more realistic, what we can do is select all of these vertices, uh, this one too, and right click and subdivide. So it's gonna add another vertex bit in between them. So you can move this vertex by pressing G and moving your mouse around just like this to give it a more natural look of a hand, just like that. Let's control Z a bit, actually. It looks nice like this. Mm, by the way, we were in the edit mode, so let's go to the object mode. Actually, when we added the vertex, we automatically went to the edit mode. So let's go back to the object mode, mode and see. Uh, it looks pretty nice actually. Let's go back to the edit mode right from here and let's select this part over here and press Control A, these two vertices and Control A to make it a bit more bulkier to match the hand size. And let's go to the object mode and let's have a look and it looks really pretty now. So that's pretty cool. Let's rename this to hand because we are done with the hand. Uh, so once you're happy with the general, you know, modeling of your hand, you can just apply the skin modifier right from here. Just click and apply, and you're gonna have to apply uh, the subdivision modifier as well, just like that. Uh, you just go over here and press apply, and it will be applied. And let's add another subdivision modifier so it gives us more geometry to play with. I'm not gonna apply this one and right click and click shade smooth in the object mode. Just right click and press shade smooth and it will give you that smooth shape. Now press option Z or alt Z on Windows to switch between the X-ray mode and switch it off just like this. So we were in the X-ray mode before. So let's go to X-ray mode again and go to edit mode and you can see the mesh now. Let's go back to the object mode and turn off our X-ray mode by pressing Option Z. It's time that we apply some color to it. So press Z and to see different kind of shading. So I'm gonna go to the material preview. By the default, it will be solid. So go to the material preview just like that. The shortcut A key is Z and let's press this button to add some material. Press new and let's name it as skin and let's just try to apply a base color of like a pinkish hue just like that you don't, you don't have to go crazy or if you do you can so it's looking pretty nice let's add some roughness to it because it's pretty much very shiny so i'd, I'd kind of like the rough look 
So let's add the, adjust the color a bit. Yeah, that looks really nice and really soft. Now I think so, let's add some clothing to this hand. So to do that, let's go to the edit mode and make sure that your x-ray mode is on. The option key is, uh, the, the shortcut key is option Z to turn it on and off. And now we have it on. So let's go over here and go to the front view and let's highlight all of them just like that. Actually, let's uh, go to this option to select sides and select all of these and it will select both sides because we are in x-ray view. Now I'm gonna go to the front view and press shift plus D and I'm gonna move my mouse around and right click to place it in the exact same position and press P key on your, my keyboard and click selection and it will create a new selection from this, uh, the selection that I just made and I'm gonna rename it to sleeve and, and let's go to the object mode and uh, if I press backslash by selecting this object and it will isolate this object for me and I can view that and let's go to the modifier and as you can see this is just a hollow sleeve so what we need to do is add a solidify modifier to it so I'm gonna go to add modifier add solidify modifier and I'm gonna select offset to zero so it comes out of our hand I'm gonna increase the thickness to about 0 0.2 let's press backslash again to go back into the object mode and let's select this one and go to material to add some skin to it so I'm just gonna press uh, this plus icon over here and press new to add a new material and I'm gonna rename it to sleeve let's add a bluish color to it just like that now it's not being applied because we have skin on top so I'm just gonna remove this skin for uh, for this sleeve and that's that's amazing that looks perfect and let's select this object again and go to the modifier and let's add some more thickness let's increase it to something like 0 0.5 so it's a bit more thick clothing now as you can see that we are losing some detail over here so to fix that we need to do two things so first thing is that let's just go to isolation mode backslash go to edit and let's change it to vertex uh let's just change it to the preview by pressing z to solidify and no, actually uh go to material preview and go to vertices selection so just click this button over here to select vertices and select all of the top ones just like that and make sure that you are in x-ray mode all to z is the shortcut key for that and let's scale it down pressing s z and zero to scale it flat just like that now when you see that the, the, the top is completely flat but that's not all let's go back to the object mode and uh, one thing you need to do is normalize this this top bit so let's go to the data actually uh, modifier no sorry actually go to the data and go to normals and click this auto smooth to make it flat just like that so we have our hand ready and this is it for the part one we have our hand model ready and in the next video we are going to be animating this hand now if you have any questions please leave it in the comment box i'm very active there so i can answer all of your questions and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this one thanks for watching see you in the next one